welcome back to my channel this is stephanie reviewing today for you two samples gucci guilty poor femme and good girl blush by carolina herrera i am wearing both of them today i have tested these out each on their own on separate days so i will show the juice of my little samples as i always do sometimes the color just looks clear gucci guilty poor femme edt Good Girl Blush, Carolina Herrera, EDP. I'm going to start with Gucci Guilty Pour Femme, EDT. The opening on this one was a little bit harsh for me. It's a bit sweet, but I almost got like this black licorice mixed with like acetone in that opening, but that goes away. It has this soft spiciness to it, a citrus floral some lilac in it it's not overly heavy and i can smell orange in it that too is not overly heavy if you've been watching my channel i have said that i'm sensitive to orange so this is really not too orange feels very feminine and gives me pink vibes oddly enough gucci guilty poor femme edt feels a bit innocent to me on clothes, it performs better, but on your skin, you're mostly just going to end up with a slight lilacs with like a powdered sugar scent. For me, pretty quickly, like too quickly, and it becomes a close, close skin scent. Gucci Guilty Pour Femme ADT on clothes, more of the notes stick around for way longer, like hours and hours, if not the whole day. So you're getting like all of those good notes in there on clothes, so I definitely would recommend unfortunately that you'd probably have to do what we would call over spraying because i feel like it's just not enough but that's my perspective i feel like it just doesn't give you enough of what it's gotten there it does have a hint of a pleasant cleanness to it but i would say wholly this is strictly like a close skin scent unless maybe you over sprayed it on like your clothes and things that will last all day but it's just for me it's just not enough yeah my skin just eats up like almost all the notes and then it's just a faintly powdery lilac scent on me gucci guilty pour femme edt is soft spicy powdery very slightly sweet lilac with orange it's very perfumey and on clothes it will retain more of its notes Carolina Herrera Good Girl Blush, EDP. This one, I feel like you can probably tell in my videos, I get all smiley when there's one I really like. <laughs> I put a heart in my notes next to this one. So the opening is sweet with a freshness to it. It has a juiciness to it. It's like a citrus peony, so it's like a youthful happy floral in my opinion and it has a smooth creamy powdery feel it's strange but this one i would almost want to eat but you know it has that floralness to it so yeah wouldn't eat it feels like an uplifting scent it's one of those scents it feels pink and girly to me but that smooth creaminess gives it a little bit more of an elevated vibe in my opinion this one also feels good for spring and summer after the opening fades it does get more floral on skin it's more peony forward it feels very feminine and you do have to be okay with that floral note with the peony because it is very peony forward it dominates the fragrance in my opinion but it has this smooth creaminess to it still with that like powdered sugar feel to it and the dry down it has this soft delicate feel to it almost like an airiness giving it a bit of like a clean vibe i feel like this one is a mood booster for me and only if you like peony <laughs> and if you're okay with like a creamy sweetness to it it's not overly sweet but it's definitely there and this one will last you the whole day even on skin this one has a strength to it it's not an overwhelming strength but it has a strength to it and you will be able to smell this one around you it will retain more of its notes on your clothing for way longer i feel like both of these fragrances are amplified on your clothes so i hope this review was helpful for those of my viewers that are returning viewers 
if you're wondering what is going on with the space upstairs that is going to be my new video area it looks like this right now as you can see there's still work to be done and for me i need some motivation to do tape and mudding and sanding so i've been looking at paint colors because i'm kind of a backwards like that i need to really like be invested and into the end goal as motivation to do the middle work of course my husband is gonna be doing it too so he's gonna be helping me so that's what's going on with that and i will share any updates you know with how that's going just as a side note for my returning viewers Thank you for joining me for this video. I hope you enjoy your day or evening. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my videos or you find any of this helpful. It super helps out my channel. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Bye!